Hello, it's Akatrip07, and in today's video, I have a quick and simple video for you guys on achieving the arrow effect on Windows 8. The program we're going to use for this is called Win Arrow Glass. It's pretty actually old. Uh, it was released about a year ago. Unfortunately, I never got around to making a video about it because when I first wanted to do a video about it, it didn't work for me, so I didn't want to show something not working. So I didn't make a video about it. And a year later now, it's working for me, and so I'm going to show you guys. Before I get started though, I wanted to say, would you guys be interested in making, or me making a video on what's on my phone? For those of you who do not know, I have a Android Nexus 5, and it's pretty customized, like fully boot animations, icons, everything. So I was wondering if you guys just wanted to see a video about that. It's pretty, I think it'd be pretty interesting. Uh, so if you're interested in that, leave it below. If you're not, then leave it below as well. And though for today's video, what you want to do is head over to the URL below, and it'll be this website right here. Um, sorry, it will be this website right here. And what you want to do is simply go to the bottom of the page and click the big gray download button, not the green one, that's an ad. Click the gray one. And once you download the file, you get this nice looking zip file. Now, once you download the zip file, simply open it up. And extract the Win Arrow Glass EXE file. Now all I have to do is simply open it up. Now 99% of the time it will apply right away and you should be good to go. All you have to do now is simply open up a window and you'll see now it has a transparent border. The arrow glass effect. So you guys can see as I put it on top of widgets it sees right through. So it's pretty cool. And that is pretty much it. So now I'm going to show you guys, um, by the way, when you log off the computer or re reboot it, whatever, um, it will get disabled because it won't return itself back on. So if you guys are interested in having it so that every single time you log into the computer, it automatically activates itself, all you have to do is throw it into your startup folder. Now there's a certain folder on your computer that anything in there, every time the computer is turned on, is turned on by Windows. That is this folder right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to this folder and copy in, copy and paste this file in there so that every single time the computer is logged on to, this program will get activated and we'll get the glass effect right away. So what you want to do is using your explorer here, simply go to the computer section, then go to the C drive, go to users, Go to your username, and then what you want to do is make sure you have hidden files enabled. So you should see app data there. If you don't see app data in your folders here, then go over to view and click hidden items. Hidden items should be checked off. If it's not, you will not see app data. So make sure it's checked off, and then you can see app data. Then go to roaming, go to Microsoft, scroll to the bottom to Windows then start menu, programs, and startup. Now all you gotta do is simply copy in that glass exe file, paste it in there, and now every single time you turn your computer on, it'll get turned on, and you should get that glass effect right at boot. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. If you like this setup I have right now with the um, wallpaper and the widgets, in the sidebar over there and definitely check out my last video i'll have it in the description below as well um talking about how to set this up it takes less than 10 minutes and it's pretty badass also leave your opinion below on the video about my android phone like i said it's a pretty cool and customized phone i have i take a lot of time to tweak it and make it make it really cool so if you're interested in seeing that definitely let me know and besides that guys that's it for the video so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below in the comment section. Um, use the like and dislike, thumbs up and thumbs down um, according to your opinion on this video. And besides that, thanks for watching. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.